Hi, this is Naomi with the Top Shelf VA TV, your place for creativity and inspiration for business and life. Recently, Ryan Russell asked if I could demonstrate how to do simple clips going from a sleeping state to a dreaming state. I thought about Ryan's request and figured out what I believe would be the best way to show a person sleeping, then segueing into a dream state. I'm happy to provide this tutorial for Ryan, and for those who are new viewers, feel free to subscribe to the channel and request a tutorial. I'm always happy to answer my subscribers' requests for tutorials in my upcoming videos. In return, your help by subscribing and getting the word out about my channel would be greatly appreciated. The more the channel grows, the more opportunities I have to help others. Okay. The first thing we'll do is bring in two video clips for this tutorial. Let's first click on Import Media and find the two videos we want to use. The first one is a gentleman sleeping and then we're going to show him dreaming about people swimming. I'll click on the first video, hold my control key down to select the second video. Then I'll click on the open button which will put it into Camtasia. I'll now drag the video of the gentleman sleeping to track one and adjust the size for the video I want to produce, which is 1920 by 1080. If you wanted to produce at 1280 by 720, you could click on the size button here and select 1280 by 720, then click OK. Then adjust the video to that size. However, I want to stick to the 1920 by 1080, so I'll switch it back to that size. I've already viewed this video and I know there's one portion I want to cut out. Making sure the video is highlighted, I'll scrub forward to that point with my cursor right here. I'll use my keyboard shortcut by typing S to split the video, or you could click on the split button. Then simply highlight and delete the end of portion. Now I'll drag the second video of the swimmers down to track one, right next to the sleeping man video. Or you could simply right click on the video and select add to timeline at the playhead. I'll adjust this video again to fit the 1920 by 1080 size. I'll also want to demonstrate coming out of the dream sequence, so I'll click on the video of the man to highlight it. Then using my keyboard shortcut, I'll use Ctrl plus C to copy and move my cursor to the end of the videos and then Ctrl and V to paste. Now it simply is a matter of using an animation and a transition that will give the feeling of moving into a dreaming state. This is what I have found works best. Let's first highlight the swimmer video, click on Visual Properties, and if you don't see it, click on the More tab and select it from the drop-down menu. Move the Opacity slider up here to the left until it is 0%. Now making sure your cursor is over the swimmer video, click on Add Animation or use the keyboard shortcut and type Z. Then move the opacity slider back to 100%. Move the animation all the way to the left, then move the end of the animation out quite a distance. We'll adjust it in just a minute. Now click on the More tab and select Transitions. I found the best transition for this effect is the ripple transition. I'll click on it and drag it over the beginning of the two videos. I also found the transition is more effective if it is at least three seconds long or a little bit longer. So I'll put my cursor at the end of the transition and drag it out to expand it to three seconds. Now I'll move the end of my animation and drag it back so the beginning of the arrowhead is touching the ripple transition. Now let's do the same thing for the end of the dream sequence. Make sure the sleeping man video is highlighted and move our cursor over it. Click on the more tab and select visual properties. Drag and make the opacity 0%. Press Z to add an animation. Drag the opacity bar back to the right until it is 100%. Move the animation to the beginning of the video. Drag the end of the animation out for a distance. Click on the More tab and select Transitions. Drag the ripple transition over the two videos and expand to three seconds. Move the animation back to where the beginning of the arrowhead touches the transition. Now let's take a quick look at the effect.
Wow, I think that looks pretty neat. There you have it. That's my interpretation and tutorial of creating a sleeping to dreaming sequence. I hope this is close to what you were looking for, Ryan, and thank you for asking the question and requesting a tutorial. I hope everyone found this video helpful. If you have a question and would like me to create a tutorial video for you, simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment. I'll be happy to add it to my list of training videos that are coming up in the near future. And please feel free to share this video and channel with others. It definitely would be much appreciated as I keep growing the channel. As always, this is Naomi with TopShelfVA.com. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day.